Hey guys, what's up? Today we got a couple other holsters, new holsters in from We The People. Uh, we kind of did an unboxing of this particular kind of new skin that they have, but today we got a couple different variants of it and I want to show you it real quick, so let's get into it. All right, so before we actually really do get into it, they do send me this stuff. We The People does send me holsters and things. They give me a discount code and they give me like affiliate links and stuff. So affiliate links and discount codes and stuff is down below in the video. Um, and if, if them giving me these holsters, if you believe it taints my view of it, then you can believe whatever you want to believe. But as always, we give an honest opinion. So that stuff being said and out of the way, um, I don't know if you remember, they came out with this particular skin. This is a topographical skin that they have, kind of a map looking topographical deal. Um, and at the time, whenever they released these and they sent these out to folks, um, I was not able to get a Glock version of this holster, right? I needed, I could use, and I am using now, um, this holster for my Beretta 92. I didn't have a good holster for this one yet. And so I'm glad I was able to get this one, but really I liked the look of this and I really do prefer to carry my Glock 48 MOS. I really like that as a slim, just small, lower profile carry. I like that gun a lot, but they didn't have the version of it yet. And it was just a glitch in the system and whatever. So I contacted them and they sent me one that will actually work with the 48 MOS. Um, so that's this guy here. But also before we open this one, I want to show you this guy here. This is their I Love the 90s skin. If you look at this, what's the first thing that comes to your mind when you see this pattern? For me, it's those, what is it? Motel 8, um, Comfort Inn, whatever. It's those hotel couches in that weird artwork that's on the wall. That's what this stuff brings back. And that's the 90s, dude. That's the 90s. I remember that. That is so funny. That is so fun. I don't know why it's so fun. It's just cool. Anyway, um, but it brings back a lot of memories. There's some jackets and some shoes and some those weird sweatpants things. This style is super cool. I think it's neat. So I'm, I'm glad I was able to get this one. And just for reference, um, this is made for the FN509 series, right? This is an FN502, right? So this is a 22 caliber um, FN pistol. And my understanding, whenever I got all this stuff um, ordered and everything, is that the FN502 and the 509, they both share the same compatibility as far as holsters. And that's true, except for one little thing, and that has nothing to do with We The People stuff because this is made for the 509, right? Um, the only thing that this does to the 502 is the 502 has a manual safety. See the manual safety? I think it goes up, yeah. Manual safety right there. And if you were to, for some reason, which I don't think you're supposed to carry a 22 cocked and locked, I'm not sure, but if you do have it on safe, and you go to holster the weapon, it will automatically take it off of safe. You see that? It kind of sits it right between safe and fire, right? So don't carry a 22 cocked and locked, or at least not this one. Um, and that's not a fault on We The People at all. The, the FN509, I don't think it even has a manual safety on the outside. So that's just something to consider, something to keep in mind. I'm glad that I, that I know that now, but it, it fits in there just perfectly fine. I can tighten up the retention on here and it, he's, he's gonna be perfectly fine. And this is nice, this is fun. This will allow me to actually do some practice and shooting and whatnot. It's not like a carry gun, because it's a 22. Um, but now I have a holster for it, and now I can actually do some drills and stuff with the 22. So there you go. That's the new little um, I Love the 90s skin. I think it's cool. It's nostalgic ish for me, whatever. It's just kind of fun. So put that guy to the side. Um, for the Glock, something was scratching. For the Glock, we have another uh, topographical skin, right? This has just a different coloring to it. This is your regular. Get rid of that guy. This is your regular topographical uh, black with kind of a grayish line system going on. Whereas this one was black with orange, which I really like the pop that goes on here. I really like the kind of flash that it gives. Honestly, nobody's gonna see your holster, or they really shouldn't be seeing your holster. So it's really just something for you and your own style. That's one reason I like all the different skins and stuff that they have. So that's this guy. Um, we don't have any optics or anything on this guy right now, but he's cut out super like cut out for this like he's going to totally be able to work with any optic that you've got um covers the trigger really well and what we're going to go ahead and do since this is an actual this is a carry gun this is a carry system that i use i went ahead and this is the old holster that i had uh we the people this is just a black version the exact same thing just different skin on it um i went ahead and took off the claw because their claw is if you're going to actually carry for real carry um get getting their claw is in my opinion a must 
Um, it really, it's going to bring the concealability from like an 80% to a 95%. Like that doesn't, th those numbers don't really mean anything, but it brings it from, it works well to it works really well. Does that make sense? For me, it does. Maybe not for you, but for me personally, it does. So we're going to go ahead and put this guy on real quick. Right. So I'm not going to bore you with all the details of assembling this guy and putting it on. I'm just going to go ahead and stick it on real quick and show you what it looks like at the end. All right, so there you go. That really didn't take very long. Uh, we got the claw on there. We adjusted our uh, clip on here because I like the gun actually to ride higher a little bit so I can get my hand on, on the gun. Um, and then we adjusted our uh, our claw to work in conjunction with that the best that we can. All right, guys, so there you go. They got the topographical versions, right, with the black or the black and gray and the orange and black, and then also the I Love the 90 series. They have another version that's out there, uh, but they're always coming out with new stuff. That's one thing I like about them. They, they don't necessarily change the designs of the holsters, but they give you, as the consumer, just again, a, a kind of a, a different color, different flavor to use, right? I, I think it's kind of neat. I think it's kind of cool. Maybe you don't. Maybe you think it's all ridiculous. I'm not sure, but I think it's pretty neat. So anyway, guys, I'd love to hear back from you what you like. Do you like these things, especially this? The I Love the 90s things, again, every time I see it, it just brings me a smile because it's just that nostalgic-ish kind of thing going on. Uh, do you guys pick that up, right? I don't know. I don't know. I'd love to hear back from you. Anyway, thank you, We The People, for sending these things out. If you guys are interested in these, it's no skin off my nose if you're not, but if you are interested, there should be an affiliate link and discount code things down below. If you are interested, again, if you're not, it's no skin off my nose. You guys do what you want to do. That's it. You guys be good to be safe. I appreciate you watching, subscribing, and everything, and hopefully, I'll catch you in the next video. See ya.